So, Sugasam, we talked a little bit about breaking the spindle rule, but when you start from scratch, um, how do you rebuild the brand identity? Yeah, it was tough <laughs> because <laughs> when I'm thinking of the from scratch, uh -huh. but we must create the Lexus identical face. Right, something yeah. unique and yes. Yeah. Yeah. So therefore, I decided to go back to resolute look. The resolute which, look, okay. Which based on Elfiness. Did you know that? So yes, I know about the Elfiness design mm -hmm. philosophy, but is the resolute look? It was a part of that? Yeah, part of that, but we didn't explain it too much. But right. this is the kind of hidden philosophy. Ah, so so sort of within the design group, like a, a, a secret yeah, kind, kind of... Yeah, kind of secret. And then spin the group based on uh, this resolute look, uh -huh. but, uh, which means the grill sits lower than the headlights. Okay, yes, to yes. To express more modern... Uh, intelligent face. Right, and, and it's much more uh, like modern and yeah, uh, than just having it flat straight yeah. across. So, yeah. so I see, so it was already built into this, uh, the older designs. Yeah, um, it was and, about 2001. And yeah. this turn eventually evolved into yeah. the spindle grill. Yeah. Wow, so, so you did go back to the basics. Yes, basic. So this is, yeah, so it's, it's, it's got a lot of uh, of its base rooted in the history of Lexus mm -hmm. design, so. But also, I thought a more functional design, mm -hmm. air cooling, not only air cooling, but also to improve the driving performance. Right, yeah. and that's that's a big core part of the next chapter as yeah. well, right? Controlling drive force as well as mm -hmm. functionality. I said that while breaking the spindle wheel, mm -hmm. I checked the the parts under the hood to learn about the functional gear design. Oh, okay, all the mechanical parts, right, yeah, right. Yeah. So I found that the radiator size is mm -hmm. very compact compared to the previous yes. Lexus model mm -hmm. because the car itself is very small. Right, okay, yeah. yes, I can see. Also, the air intakes needs be must be the very low position. It's oh. good for a more driving performance. Ah, okay, yeah. yes, yes. So therefore, I learned that we have to design along this layout Mm -hmm. for a driving performance, also to express more functionality right. design. And, and this was something that you were working uh, in conjunction with the engineering department yeah. and, and all the engineers as mm -hmm. well, right? Mm -hmm. So now you have to blend function yeah. with design yeah. in this new look, mm -hmm. the new resolute look. Okay, so, so please, yeah. yeah. So functionality design, but also the, in terms of design, mm -hmm. the keeping the food is low yes. is a kind of good advantage for us because do you know what that means? No, I, well, I can guess, but no, please tell me yeah. the right answer. So it's easier to create more the wider mm -hmm. impression and low center of gravity, yeah. which is a good looking car. And yeah. From here, I don't think, it, it might be harder to tell on screen, but it, you know, it's a very nice, beautiful yeah, slope very downward. Steep yeah, and yeah. it's just, you have to see the real thing in person, but. Yeah, so therefore, the, to create a resolute look, mm -hmm. is a low position is good for it to express more. Right, and you were mentioning uh, this, the, before it used to be a grill, yeah. right? But this is actually underneath the Which headlights. I sketched before. Yes. Yeah. So now that I designed a slit, come from the headlamps. Yeah, I noticed to that. To express yeah. more of the resolute look, yeah. Yes, it, it looks great. And, and does this have, uh, yes. in the future, it's going to have different yeah. kinds of purposes? So or? this clevis, uh, we call the function clevis. Ah, this, yeah. function so, clevis. Yeah, so this car has kind of a function for to show the light. Oh, the headlight. Oh, right, for the law where you yeah. have to be able to see it from yeah. the angle. And mm -hmm. So each each new vehicle will have a, maybe perhaps yeah, a different, different function yeah. or, mm -hmm. or it's capable of, yeah. right? So in your design language, I yes. see. So can you see spindle group here? Maybe. I, I'm thinking, I see one, but I, maybe you can enlighten me exactly where it is, but I, I, I definitely see something right yeah. here. So even though we break the spindle group, uh -huh. but uh, we wanted to maintain the spindle shape. Right. Yeah. So the main food mass is here, then the bumper corner intersect. Uh -huh. So this area we gave a spindle construction. Yes. And 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 it there's there's a beautiful just a, a almost like a bulge where these three patterns intersect. Yeah. And, and it's that's so, where the familiarity is coming yeah. from, right? So even without the spindle frame, but mm -hmm. uh, people can look like oh, this is Lex Lexus face. Yes. Yeah. It's new and both familiar at the same time. Yeah. It's amazing. You you could blend history with with the new. Yeah. So this is a new Lexus face identity. I love it. Hakamata-san, first, I'd like to start with the front. 
But could you please tell us the key points of the LBX front face once more? In addition to the iconic expression created by the resolute look and spindle shape, I'd like you to note the low center of gravity and impressive presence created by the low profile hood. Well, it really is an entirely new Lexus front end, isn't it? I'm sure you had to go through a lot of trial and error to get to this point, but how was that? Yes, in terms of constant evolution, it's always trial and error. This time, while retaining the essence of the spindle body, we reconstructed the way the spindle should be. And by combining it with the Resolute Look, another heritage design cue of Lexus, we arrived at the unified spindle that is instantly recognizable as a Lexus. I can sense the feeling of finally reaching that goal. And so, the unified spindle hides the latest advanced safety system functions around here, and the shape of the face itself is aerodynamic and contributes to the handling and stability, correct? Yes, exactly. In addition, we integrated the DRL and turn signal functionality. We've tried to realize a new expression and we've made the lamp body more vertically compact, which also aims to reduce weight. Wow, you thought of everything. Will future new Lexus models follow the same concept? The concepts behind the new Lexus front face, starting with the LBX, will be continued with future new models, but will further evolve according to the character and new technologies in each car, which you can look forward to. By the way, with this car, the L signature faces out instead of in. In the previous version with an inward-facing signature, the arrow points in the opposite direction to the turn, so with safety also in mind, we have reversed it. So, this is the side view, Hakamata-san. Yes, as you can see, the size is based on a B platform, and by taking advantage of the core characteristics of the package, we created short overhang proportions that make it look very agile. As for the packaging, it is an SUV, but we design proportions with a low center of gravity as much as possible. The tires are big, and you can definitely sense the low center of gravity. Yes, it has big tires for this size, 225, 55, 18 inches. The base of the A-pillar has been moved back towards the rear, making the cabin more compact and making the hood look longer, giving it a sporty side view. Yes, it definitely looks sporty, and it looks like it'd be very nimble. One thing though, wouldn't you lose interior space if you moved the A-pillar back like this? Yes, we'll have you sit inside later, but you see we created a spacious interior suitable for nimble driving. Okay, I will check it out later. And over here, just like on the NX, the flares on the rear fenders are very dynamic. Yes, the overall width was extended to 1,825 millimeters, and by matching that with large diameter tires, we feel we've designed the shape with lots of volume, creating a presence that goes beyond the hierarchy of size and class. Definitely. And it's not just about mass, it's also dynamic and sexy. Yes, we made the side surface shapes more dynamic by boldly tightening the area around the rear door. The door hinge alignment and door panel molding were a big challenge when executing this design. So we worked closely with Z Division, TMEJ design, and other related departments to make this a reality. So, it wasn't only with design, but you had to collaborate with others. Yes, we worked with each department as one team to ensure these dynamic shapes and large diameter tires coincided with safety performance. We are now at the rear. Just like with the RZ and RX, this car has a very good stance with a low center of gravity. Thank you. 
Our research into emphasizing the low center of gravity gave birth to the Kagami Mochi theory. Specifically, by placing a compact cabin on top of the underbody and clearly defining the torso and cabin, the center of gravity appears to move downward, creating proportions that stick to the ground and reflect a new way of thinking. The Kagami Mochi theory is very interesting. So everyone, Kagami Mochi is something Japanese people offer the gods when they welcome the new year. It's very unique. And do you have something similar in your country? Ah, thank you for the explanation, Toshi-san. No, I thought it was really unique. And this rear combination lap is also unique. Yes, the rear combination lamps inherit the Lexus horizontal lettering design cues, but are expressed in a way that is unique to this car. While blending with the back door's shape, I gave it a characteristic graphic that cranks a bit like this, to give the LBX... I can see that. The prominent console is an important factor when determining vehicle character, and the shift by wire knob and display size are just right. You can feel the high quality finish in the places you touch, and it's very comfortable. Yes, we also paid particular attention to the tactile feel of the instrument panel, trim, console, and other areas that people touch. The utility looks good around here. For utility, there is one cup holder in front of the console and one in the back. This is the side console pocket and the USB is here. It's perfect. And for the rear seats, yes, they're compact, but there's good forward visibility and enough space so you don't feel cramped. Yes, we designed the rear seats to provide a comfortable space for passengers. Good visibility is achieved by slightly raising the seat to prioritize forward visibility as much as possible. There's no cutting corners on the rear seats and they've been well thought out. Also, the stitching on the seats, just like the front, is a nice accent, isn't it? Yes, we added a bit of playfulness. 
We work to try and provide new value through subtle craftsmanship and playful touches. Hmm. The refined interior really goes above and beyond the actual size and class of the vehicle, and I'm sure customers who've driven many different cars will be satisfied. Toshi-san, this is the luggage space. I see. Since it's more for daily use rather than business, there's plenty of room to store groceries and recreational items. Yes, I definitely like for people to load up their favorite items like this and enjoy a relaxing time.